Under the feast of trumpet. Listen carefully. I was reading the amplified. Let's see how the amplified rendered all these things. It says, preach the words as an official messenger. Be ready when the time is right and even when it is not. Keep your sense of urgency because the time is short. Whether the opportunity seems favorable or unfavorable, whether convenient or inconvenient, whether welcome or unwelcome, correct those who err in doctrine or behavior like we are right now. I remember sometimes they say we're correcting those who err in behavior that call themselves bishops and all hell let loose on us. <laughs> That's our job. In the days of the trumpet, correct those who err in doctrine and in behavior. Do not conceal sin. Deal with it and remove it because sin is ter more terrible than cancer. When you conceal it, it destroys our lives. We have to deal with it and remove it from our lives. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you are seeing the second part of this video, that means you have seen the first part of it. But let me just remind you of some things that we talked about in the first part of the video. First of all, Apostle Johnson Suleiman was preaching in Johannesburg, South Africa, where he was talking about the subject that a father cannot be wrong. Now, we looked at his statement extensively in the other video, but to pick some of the things he said that I think really stuck out was that number one, correction upwards is rebellion. So you don't correct a father. That's one thing he said. He now said also, my father, God's general, Iye Adeboye cannot be wrong. Now I want to say, until loyalty is tested, it is fake. Your value for a man should be based on how he treats his father. If he dishonors his father, he will abandon you. Now we looked at a couple of other things he said, even when he talked about the reason why Pastor Iye Adeboye didn't come for his anniversary as at last year. And I think I made extensive detailed discussion on that. If you haven't watched it, uh, this is a picture of the video. Be sure to click on the link in the pinned comment or description section, or you could just click on my image here on YouTube and then look for this picture right here on the channel but today we are looking at what apostle takim himself said not like in response but he talked about the same subjects and i want you to look at it and then have your own judgment of it because i really 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 this spoke this spoke my heart in the first part looking at what apostle Justin suleiman said but let's look at what apostle takim himself said about the same sub subject of a father cannot be wrong now you can find this particular post on his Facebook page. I think this was posted as at the 5th of March 2022. Now the title of this here as you can see on your screen, a father cannot be wrong. Give me a break. That looks like witchcraft to me. Now I am thinking in my opinion oh, that Apostle Takim is responding to what Apostle Johnson Suleiman himself said about the whole concept of a father cannot be wrong. Or maybe there is some other person or pastor that has preached the same thing because i know for a fact many of these pastors now copy and paste and they do some of you watching me now will be still when i be pastor when they come here for youtube either watch joshua selman or watch uh, suleiman or watch apostle takim or watch any other copy their message go preach for your church i know some of you you know i'm saying this because i have done it before myself when i hear uh, so i know <laughs> so <laughs> you know this thing <laughs> so don't, don't 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 pretend don't pretend if you pretend if you pretend in the comments i will <laughs> you will know that take when romance in my water you matter how far but take when cannot romance in my water in this place so i beg you <laughs> anyway let's have a brief intro before we start
welcome back once again it's always amazing to have you right here but first before we continue if you haven't followed me on instagram being real george i exist over there if you haven't followed me on twitter be real george i still am over there the same picture as you see right here and uh yes I, I like to interact with people on other platforms as well as we get to really understand or maybe get you know some form of engagement all right so that is where you can actually get to interact with me personally sometimes you comment on my videos here on youtube or facebook i don't really get to reply most of them because some of them are hate comments but it's okay that happens so make sure you follow me on other platforms as we go on but let's look at what apostle takim himself had to say as you look at your screen and follow along he said here a father can be wrong that is why the Bible says, fathers do not provoke your children. Interesting analysis. He went on to say here, yes, we are to exalt and give fathers double honor for their labor. As the Bible commands, but saying that he cannot be wrong is destructive. Now, let's talk about this because you have to understand the concept of what Apostle Joseph, Joseph Suleiman was talking about was the concept of spiritual fatherism. If you have not watched this video I made on my other channel, George Vlog, but that channel is more of like a backup in case those who are trying to take down the channel succeed. But I hope, I pray they will not succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, no go write him in now for comment. Tomorrow now, if I disappear, I'm not going to say, George, what happened? I'll pay you. And I don't hear him now. So visit my other channel. He went on to say here, Lot, Lot, you know Lot in the Bible, Lot was wrong when he allowed his daughter to get him drunk. The result was getting his daughters pregnant. God would later wipe out nations that came out of it. He went on to say, Noah was also wrong when he got drunk. It led to a terrible sin and a curse coming upon his own child. We blame the child for seeing the nakedness of his father, but if the father had not gotten drunk, that incident would not have happened. A father can be dead wrong. He wrote that in capital letters. But going on, he now said, Sadly, when a father goes astray, a generation goes astray as well. That is why fathers should always humble themselves to listen to sons who truly care and speak the truth. If you watch this video right here where Apostle Joshua, Apostle Takim himself was talking about why it is important that people like me are like the threshing floor for pastors. Me, I don't know if uh, what I'm doing is a uh, threshing floor, or dope, but when he was saying that, I was like, okay, oh, that is what he thinks. So, okay, what I know for me is that I'm analyzing something. Where I'm analyzing the things I see on social media. Please, God, I, I don't, I will not come. Um, have I ever said to you that God sent me or this is my own is i analyze things i see on social media so if it is church bah, if it is politics bah, if it is secular bah, i'm just analyzing things i see on social media i've explained that a thousand times i don't have to go into that a lot more he now went on to say here in fact those leading our generation astray today by poisoning the church with wrong doctrines are fathers aided by their baby charlatans a father can be dead wrong he said again <laughs> oh god you know I, I if i've used the word charlatan on this channel it's not up to two times indeed there are charlatans let me use it again here in the body of christ we have the bigger ones and we have the baby ones the baby ones are some of them that are watching me right now evangelist this apostle this when i click on their name on facebook and i just look at their when they comment on facebook i look at their profile i see them with one in one small church one small branch with the canopy and i say god this one not just one of them now not just one of the you know baby followers where they find relevance if you if you watch this video you understand what what i've been saying that there is something called relevance by association you don't understand but about that i was surprised that he was talking about the same thing relevance people trying to get relevance by associating with bigger bigger men of god according to the size of crowd you have or the popularity you have watch this video if you if you won't get sense but let's continue he went on here to say that if you still believe that a father cannot be wrong and should not be corrected do not forget first kings verse 13. now this is what makes me think that he's talking to apostle johnson suleiman because apostle suleiman said a father cannot be corrected correct a father cannot be corrected correction of what is rebellion anything your father does is say oh yeah daddy you are correct that is slavery when the slave masters came here they will beat you on the head thank you sir They'll tell you anything i say thank you sir they will slap you thank you sir you are very stupid thank you sir you are mad thank you sir you are an idiot thank you sir thank you sir 
Look at what he's saying here. If you still believe that a father cannot be wrong and should not be corrected, do not forget 1 Kings verse 13. He went on to say here, the young prophet in 1 Kings 13 was led astray by a father in faith and later killed by a lion. Do you know how many young destinies are being destroyed today like that by people they call fathers because they refuse to humbly use scriptures to examine things they ask them to do? Come on! That is why you must humbly question and examine our authority so that we will not lead you astray. He's, to- he's putting himself also in it. When he was talking about something that I, sh- I posted in this video, he said, including me. Tomorrow now, I feel fumble now. They go carry my matter cast. But people like me now that are talking about these things and discussing these things, I think I think there has never been a time like this. Me as I am here, I don't compare myself to anybody. I'm not in anybody's legal. I don't come here and do copy and paste. If I I I, I talk, if you have a problem that I talk on my channel, your problem plenty. You go get BP. Some of you will come and say, uh, your videos are too long. This, I, this is my channel. I can talk anyhow I want to talk. We go. Do the very say, if you don't get data, one, they go and buy data. You know, they pay me to watch me. But I thank you for watching me still. You understand? But let me be myself. You be yourself. If you watch, you reach point where you know one watch again. Stop to the watch. Come on, do what you want to do. Let me continue. Are you getting the point now? But let's continue. Now, I went on here to say, I have, I have been wrong many times and corrected by spiritual sons and daughters who care. Sometimes it bruised my ego, but it helped me so much to stay under the mighty hand of God. Ha! Oh God, please, can we clap for Apostle Tashim? <laughs> Apostle Tashim, if you are watching this, I have never spoken to you before. I don't know you, but I see the things you post on social media. I, I, there are many of you that don't know I know you, but I know you. Please, can we clap for Apostle Tatum here? Oh. oh, yo, 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 please clap. Konaka, if you cannot clap, if, I say leave that your phone and clap. I don't say you should type clapping in the comment. Clap. Oh. For him to really put himself so that he listened, he has spiritual sons that can correct him. And the other hand here, a guy here is saying that a father cannot be wrong. I'm not putting two of them at longer heads at each other. I'm not, of course, Suleiman has crowd. Apostle Takim was saying something one time. He said there's a difference between a crowd, a church, and the kingdom. Oh, don't worry. One day I'm going to make that video. You understand? You understand? Yeah? Apostle Takim, if you are watching me tomorrow, if you cast to me, I go cast you. So far, I say your mother day online. I'll make I just tell you. Don't be like, say, I understand, but I just tell you, say, I know they endorse anybody for yeah. We just they analyze. But going on, he said here, the only authority that, the only authority that you are not to question is the sovereignty of God. But every other authority should be examined or righteously and humbly questioned, especially when it leads you astray. Let's take example of our dear, wonderful friend here, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. At the talk, I'm saying that picture where I see of your chat with Stephanie Otobo. Now me, they beat my chest. Talk, I'm saying, now you be that, no be Photoshop. But I know we come to post your gongo to go here now. Imagine how many people will be say, almost see now, see how the world is shaking. Even the world, my globe, but they don't look at how the world. See, this is what happened now. It can be a sign. That, 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 you see, as this in just four now without even me knowing. Do you know how many people have seen it? You where they watch me now, you never see them. And I said this thing since, if I did been in 2017, Oga, you came out and said, Oh, this thing is true. You covered this thing in 2017. Cover, talk, so you never even know Stephanie Tobo. You never even meet him before. Even when they were tracing the bank records, you say, Oh, it was, it was someone you were helping. But this is somebody clearly one the gossip mill has posted it. Don't know be me, but gossip mill don't even post them all. No mind all this packaging. What I do for years, this thing it breaks my heart. I no go lie, it they pay me because in the end, I'll call myself a Christian. And I'm talking about this about someone that calls himself a father in the Lord, a father of the faith. That is mockery on Christianity. This is the kind of thing that leads people astray, that leads. Even those who are, just imagine those you have laid hands on and made them pastors. 
I've chatted with one of your pastors before. He said it and even ordained me. Look at those you have laid hands on. Look at th- those that are pastoring for you. Covering the truth because of this mindset. That is why people cannot. I'm not saying you should come out and disown your papa. That's not what I'm saying. Do you people even talk to him? Because Mike David said that all of you keep quiet. You people keep quiet. You don't talk. You know everything, but you keep quiet. Does it mean that these people are also partaking and doing the same thing? Because I can feel that the, anoint- the same anointing is flowing down on everybody. You see, sometimes I try to really comport myself when I come here to make videos and try to be really um diplomatic and all, but you don't really know what 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 I go through when I'm doing these things. You don't know what you don't know how it feels like. You think it's easy to be being real, George? You think it's easy for me to show you these things I show you and try to make you understand that I don't like these things. I don't like it. It's it breaks my heart. I'm not thinking about you, Suleiman. If you're, I'm not thinking. I'm thinking about the the millions of people that believe you, the ceiling fans who are not hand fans and know you too, or those ones that are far away watching now. I'm thinking of them in different parts of the world that believe you and know you and all that and see that you are a real man of God. Some people call me and tell me that we see him in our dream, in my dream. He's a real man of God. He came in my dream and touched me. I beg, leave that matter. If you know it, I know your heart will bleed. But I will still come here and try to. I, de, I say, oh God, even if not just one thing, one thing where you own up, one, I don't we cannot go even fit talk again. But pride, you they won't cover, cover, cover here. I they tell you, Apostle Suleiman, if you are watching me, your Judas is still with you. I they tell you, hold her. If you don't. See, yeah. If even if you succeed in covering up all these things and then you are silent, you are quiet, you don't talk and this and that, you cover up, do your damage control and all that, and some way somehow you escape this. Of course, your is your bola is everywhere, everything people are you get. One day, you see, the people that know about your escapades and all that, maybe one day they will leave Nigeria, they will come and expose you. Your scandals will continue today tomorrow because even those are your pastors if you did do them way or if you do them anyhow or if you don't take care of them well one day do, do you see the way mike davis come out one day one of them no no mind say don't preach that message a father cannot be wrong you cannot correct a father this and that because you are using a, a papa here as a as 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 a covering for you don't don't see eh? Hmm. Except say those your pastors, their eye never open or they don't know the truth or they just want to be part of so the business will continue. They, except that this thing will continue. One day you go see say next year another person will come and wait. Your rebellion, your rebellion still there with you there. Now they just they gather evidence. Now me they tell you accept. No wait until your matter cast like this bishop here where he, 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 the woman he don't give and blood. The woman don't burn for him already. Before him come accept, say they, they were trying to blackmail me, blackmail waiting. This woman, I just say, if she feel be scapegoat, maybe say, oh, she just, you know, really hold him, nail him with the belly, with picking, where they are alive. You know, if it change anything for that one. You, Apostle Suleiman, if you are watching me, you know these things I'm talking about. Today, it may not, it, it, it may be an Akai York today, it might be Queen Esther today, it might be uh, Stephanie Otobo today. You don't know who is going to be tomorrow that come that is coming from your past. I wonder if you are still doing this currently. I just wonder. You don't know who is going to be next. You don't know which of your past is going to be next. You don't know. But I know that some of you watching me right now, you know the truth. Some of you members watching me now, you say that you, you know that this thing is true. But because of that love, I understand your love. I know I understand the worship you have for your papa. But your papa can be wrong. Take that from me. Your papa can be wrong. Later they will say what God cannot do cannot exist. God, God cannot lie. Man can lie. 
The last thing Apostle Takim here said is that, yes, we must examine delegated authority before we submit to it because fathers can be dead wrong. You have been trained not to question whatever your man of God says. Everything he says is hook, line and sinker. How did Christianity get to the way it is today? Oh, it was first the Orthodox, then the Anglican, then the Methodist, then the Pentecostal, then different breakaways because of different disagreement doctrinally, this and that. If people were not asking questions and breakaways happening here and there, you think we could have gotten to what we are right now? Every corner of the street is touched. Mandi fake, mandi real. And then Konja. Some people are harbourless that are wearing suit and tie. Preaching Jesus. You are here all from today to tomorrow. You are using the name of Jesus. You are using the name of God and you are amassing world for yourself and doing all sort of shenanigan stuff. And because uh, and someone talks about you, start blocking videos. You start doing all sorts of things and start suing someone to court because they are talking about you and you don't read the scriptures that talked about that you will be... Go, go and read Luke. I think I've talked about it already. Let's open to it because when I talk like this, some people I don't know where I don't know where this internet joke. I don't know where their brain come from, especially these pastors themselves. Luke eleven verse forty nine. Let's read it together because I I hate some things that I see that are happening. Jesus himself said. Because of this, God in his wisdom said, God in his wisdom said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and others they will persecute. See being real George as a persecutor. See me as a persecutor that what I'm doing is persecuting you. Even though you cannot compare what I do here talking to what persecution really means when he talks about the context of the bible that they were talking about jesus was not persecution for him he was even interested to know what are they saying talking not a key person you care more about your image and how people see you as a man of god or whatever you call yourself prophet apostle Bogo Tivo. more than jesus himself you are carrying jesus you are relevant because of jesus not relevant because of your papa or whoever you are following or submitting to you are relevant because of god and that is the person you have been talking about here and there. Will you hear? Why don't you people go to the Muslims or some other religions that 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 question the divinity of Jesus or whatever, or like Jesus that or like that the priest came and said that um, Jesus is not God and all those kind of things? Why don't you go and attack those people and say you people are, are, are challenging the God I worship or this and that? Oh, because Jesus is not here physically, but he's here in the spirit. He lives through us. Or because you are here physically, you can now go and challenge, block videos. Some of you, they will send boys or send uh, assassins or whatever. I hear things, man. And you call yourself that you're a pastor, you are, you, are not, you are whatever. And the Bible talks about that you, some of you will be killed, some of you will be persecuted. You people now, now they carry, now they carry Bopo. Carry, carry AK, AK, whatever to protect you. Why don't you, why don't you use the scriptures, no weapon fashion against me shall prosper. Now your weapons are people that are holding gun. And I know I'm gonna recall and they couldn't pray for you. Can of course prayer is good itself, but you have to walk. Why don't you why do you carry my pole and police around? When people talk about you, your head will swell. You blow videos, say you say you will see this person, you will see you this person, you do what who, who, who are you without Christ Jesus? When God has spoken here, and you think that when I see these things, I will, I see you as man of God. Say so they call some of you man of God or this and that. Now, because of respect, it's because of respect and the fact that me, I just want to be diplomatic. I know that because you have followers, I have to respect you. But some of you now, say they open my mouth, call a man of God, and they, and they try. And a strong mind do them. It breaks my heart, I'm telling you. The anger where I get, eh, oh Jesus. Oh God. I just say I just say I, I just is out of love. I see preach oh God. I see a preacher, I say if you talk about me, blah 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 blah. I get men, oh I get boys, so oh. some of them never repent oh. If they catch you, eh? Who are you? Onye kibu. Onye. If you are nothing without if, if it is in Christ you live, move and have your being. Look at the person of Jesus, even when he was arrested. Peter come out now per court person ear. He carried the ear fixed and back. Waiting. 
Bible don't talk say you will be persecuted. Some of you will be killed. Now, now the same people may they go catch person, may they go arrest person, come your church, come apologize. Go, 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 go. Who are you? If you believe so much in God that you worship and everything, let him fight for you. Let him vindicate you. If you think they do here now, be sad, they do, I'm saying, yeah, 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 I'm persecuting you. God himself will know how to deal with me. See, if you, if you like, stay there in your altar and lay all the curses in this world. Or let all your members, gullible followers, lay all the curses in this world. So first, what I'm saying is factual and right based on what is in line with scripture. Your curses is coming back to you and your family. Because you believe in cursing. You believe in that curses. You never, if you never watch this video, your brain will not make sense. Because you have faith in the cross. But we don't know that, that Jesus Christ, that by, by the death of Jesus Christ, Christ became a cross for us. So if you believe you have faith in the cross, you are crossing yourself. What nonsense! Anyway, I divert sometimes, so. But it's okay. See you in my next video. We have a lot coming on the channel. We never start to. We are still discussing. Have a nice day. Tell me what you think in the comments about what Apostle Takim himself said. Only to do me a shoe. Go on, go on, go Oh, Jimmy, on no to rob me, what's in my shoe? Oh, need to rob me a shoe. Oh, no, oh, need to rob me a shoe. Oh, need to rob me a shoe, Papa. Oh, Jimmy, on no to rob me, what's in my shoe? Oh, need to rob me a shoe. Ah, oh, need to rob me a shoe.